Hi there, Just for Sweets here. I'm back. Today I have something kind of fun and different. Um, I actually am going to combine a craft sort of thing with food recipe. Um, just something fun. If you are having a party and you know you want to put out some, not only um, you know the typical appetizers of you know the fried foods or whatever, and you're trying to do something a little bit that someone could grab that's you know that needs stuff on the healthier side or or whatever. This is just something kind of fun for a party idea. Um, if you're having like a girls' day and you're having you know. Um, drinks and salads and maybe a small dessert this would be really fun to do as well or today I'm actually gonna make this and take it to work to my daughter um, for her to have for lunch so um, it's really fun I have a wide mouth mason jar and to those canners out there you guys know what these are I'm not too familiar with any of them yet but I'm getting close um, and this is a, a large one. Now, if you wanted to make more like appetizer salads, you know, little tiny ones, if you're going to do more than salad, um, you can make a smaller one. I have, you know, you can get the smaller jars. Just go by whatever size you want. And all I did was pick up a pre-packed salad at Costco. It's their Oriental chicken salad. So it comes with um, slivered almonds or sliced almonds. I'm sorry sliced almonds and then the little fried wontons and the the little fried noodles and it comes with uh, two packs of chicken breast that's cooked and chopped up and two packets of dressing and um, I just bought that because it's easier for me today but you can you know feel free to get your own ingredients together whether you like tomatoes cucumbers if you like dried cranberries you know um, different kinds of nuts oranges whatever you like in your salad you pick and then what I did here is I chopped up some uh, romaine heads, washed them and chopped them. And then I bought a bag of this Asian chopped salad at um, our local grocery store. And it was just in the produce section. And basically all it is is it has some cabbage, some cilantro, carrots, green onions. And it actually came with dressing and wontons too, but I didn't want to... Uh, to use that I'm going to use this kit instead so I bought that and mixed it in with my romaine lettuce so it gives it more of an Asian flair. Uh, one thing you could do is you could um, you could do lettuce and maybe red and green cabbage and throw in uh, some carrot matchstick carrots or whatever you can make your own I'm just doing the easy way so let's get started here. We're going to start with our jar, and actually this one is going to be, be where you can shake it and eat it right out of the jar. So I am going to actually add our dressing down at the bottom, and add as much as you think you need. That was probably two tablespoons. I think that's about the average serving size. And I, um, I usually like to water my dressings, not really water them down, but add a little bit of some extra flavor to them, especially with this one, because these dressings tend to be really high in sugar. And so to, <coughs> to spread my dressing out a little bit further, I use some rice wine vinegar, seasoned rice wine vinegar with mine. So I'm going to kind of pour that at the bottom with this, just use the rest of that up, probably right around a teaspoon. And I don't want to put my lettuce on the bottom or my crunchy items because then they're going to get soggy. So the next thing we're going to do is add our chicken because the chicken can sit and marinate in the dressing until it's time to shake the salad up. So you can add as much chicken as you like, however you like in your salad. Now, I find a lot of times there isn't enough chicken. You get two bags of these. So I usually will buy a rotisserie chicken as well and kind of break that up and put it in there. So put your chicken in there. And next we're going to add our lettuce. And I'm going to add part, part of my lettuce mixture here, just like that. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to, halfway through here, I'm going to add my other ingredients. So here's my slivered almonds, my favorite part of this salad. And actually, I learned a little something on a website. There's some of the slivered almonds. That if you shred your lettuce or cut your lettuce and you store it in mason jars instead of plastic containers or um, Ziploc baggies or anything like that, your lettuce will actually stay fresher longer and it won't get wilty and, and uh, get old real quick. 
So I actually tried that on our camping trip and it worked. I had lettuce, shredded lettuce that I'd made for tacos for over two weeks in my container. And I actually just took it out of my fridge recently and it didn't even wilt until I put it on the counter. So just an FYI, it's something to try. So store your shredded lettuce in a mason jar and it will last a lot longer for your salads. So I'm adding all my ingredients here. Don't mind the teeth. My daughter calls these the crunchy square things. Okay, and then to this, I'm gonna add the rest of the lettuce on top. Have all those yummy ingredients in the middle. And feel free to top some of those on top if you want to. I'm just gonna kinda leave this one plain. I might add a little bit more almond on top because I love the almonds in this salad. I even bought an extra big bag of almonds so that I can make this salad at home even when these ingredients run out. So I'm gonna add a few more almonds on the top. And there you go, you have a salad in a jar. Now, for the fun part of it, is this is the lid to the mason jar, it comes in two pieces. This is just a regular cupcake wrapper. See, it's a standard cupcake wrapper that I flattened out. And if you wanna make it decorative for your party, take the cupcake wrapper, flatten it out, and stick it on top of the jar. And then you're gonna press that center in there, and look, you have a beautiful top to your canning jar. And you can, you know, for you canners out there, you can do this, you know, when you're making jams and stuff for other people. It's an easy way to decorate. And this is an extra large jar, so it's not gonna stick out, but if you used a cupcake wrapper on a smaller jar, you'd actually have a little decoration that came down around the bottom, too. So there you go, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you can even put like a little name tag on it that says, you know, to my daughter, love mom, or whatever. So there is our salad in a jar. Now, if you don't like your dressing in the jar, if you wanna do like oil and vinegar on the side or something, you know, just get a small Tupperware container and take that with you or take a small bottle of dressing or a packet or whatever you have and bring it with you. And then when you serve this, all you're gonna do is you're gonna shake this vigorously so that that dressing goes throughout the entire salad. You can pour it on a plate and you have got a beautiful salad in a jar. And like I said, this would be great for a party, um, just so, a little bit of a different, a different idea to display your salads, and a gift for a friend for the day, a coworker, you know, just to be nice. Um, make sure you keep them refrigerated, and if you are going to display them at a party, I would suggest getting like a bucket of ice and then taking your different containers and stick them in the ice, and you could tape a little fork or spoon, not a spoon really, but a fork to the side and a knife and a napkin and you could have these all ready for people to grab and you can make them in different sizes so that you know some people don't like as much salad so just some really really fun ideas so there we go there is our salad in a jar with our little cupcake wrapper on top i hope you enjoyed this i really had a lot of fun making them and have even more fun eating it and uh taking one to my daughter today so until next time uh, God bless, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and I'd love to hear some comments and suggestions. Again, you can make any salad you want in there. You can make chicken Caesar, shrimp Caesar, regular Caesar. Uh, you can make a blue cheese apple uh, salad, a pear and gorgonzola salad, whatever you want to do. Greek salad, anything can be made in these. And make just a variety of salads and put them out for people to, to have and enjoy. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.